guys are having a great day. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Hassan Campbell claiming Gilly sacrificed his son. Let's get right into it. Hassan Campbell has always been an interesting person to me. He has his YouTube channel where he gives his thoughts on things revolving hip-hop, but Hassan isn't your average fan. Hassan was connected to Africa Bambada, one of the founding fathers of Bambada was a grown man at the time and had his apartment full of young boys, one being Hassan Campbell. Africa Bambada, like most rappers, is actually an occultist who followed the teachings of Alistair Crowley. I did a whole video about Bambada's occult ties on the main channel. You can go check it out after this one. Hassan saw what the music industry was really about, hanging out with Bambada. So to see Hassan come out and expose the industry is very interesting. Hassan, unlike those who were once associated with the industry, doesn't hold his tongue about what goes on. He has straight up exposed the industry for what it really is. He has accused celebrities of performing ritual sacrifices, and with what he saw hanging around Bambada, I take his word for it. So it caught my attention when I saw that he was accusing Gilly of sacrificing his child. Gilly, for those who don't know, is a former rapper and one half of the Gilly and Wallow show. In recent years, he has seen a huge amount of success with their show so much so that recently they signed a multi-million dollar contract for their podcast show. Strangely, right after Gilly signed this deal, he would lose one of his sons to street violence. This led Hassan to come out accusing Gilly of sacrificing his own child. In this live stream, Hassan makes some interesting observations when it comes to Gilly signing his multi-million dollar contract. Hassan claims that Gilly appears to be crying while signing his contract and which he felt was odd. Hassan also claimed that why would he cry instead of being joyful? When you die, look how fast life goes on. Did y'all watch the video? I didn't have enough time to get the video. Go find the video where Gilly and Wallow signed the check for the hundred million dollars. Why was Gilly crying like that? Why was he crying like somebody just died? When he signed that check for a hundred million dollars, Gilly wasn't crying like I'm happy, yo, yo, we made it. He was crying like somebody died. I dare you to find the video. I'm gonna say again, when he cried, he cried like somebody died. You ever seen somebody get a hundred million dollar check and cry like somebody passed away? Come on, man. I didn't come here to apologize to y'all, to them, since it's about timing, since they back the partying. I'm not coming with disrespect towards them. I'm coming with the truth. If you don't like it, log out. As you heard for yourself, Hassan basically accused Gilly of sacrificing his child in order to get this million dollar deal. He brings up the fact that Gilly seemed to be hurt when signing the deal, as if he knew he was going to lose a loved one. What's interesting is that in another interview, Gilly claims that what happened to his son was a gift and a curse. Worst time had to be was kind of the worst and the best. The worst time had to be when I had to wash his body. You know what I mean? That was the worst, but it was also the best because I became a man that day. I thought I was a f man, but I wasn't. That day, I became a man. I was a low ass boy up to that point. I thought I was a man. As you heard for yourself, he made these strange remarks, which to me I did find suspicious. We know that in the industry, some of the celebrities pay the ultimate price to have it all. Gilly's life has changed forever, right after his son passes away. And to me, that is rather strange. Recently, we've been seeing so much of this within the industry, specifically like when Kanye came out last year and admitted that his mother was a sacrifice. I did a video not too long ago where we spoke about ASAP Rocky. He admitted that he lost a bunch of loved ones while his career was on the rise. Every time I put out an album, or every time I'm about to release an album, for some strange reason, I always lose somebody close to me. My pops, it was James, my sister, like, I always lose somebody close to me, you know? I feel like, you know, some crazy, like, jinxes. Without being superstitious or just paranoid, you know, take a toll, take a toll on it's the same story routinely with so many celebrities. It's not just in hip hop, it's not just in rap, it's in all of Hollywood. In my opinion, I'm not gonna necessarily say that Gilly did this because I don't have the proof, I can't find the proof, but off of what it looks like, it does look suspicious to me. Specifically, when you watch him signing that contract, he does look hurt, he does look bothered. It does make you think, 
why is he acting like this? I understand some people get emotional when certain situations happen, and this is probably one of those situations that would make many people emotional, but I don't think he would be crying the way he's crying, where it seems like he's sad. Most definitely, and every time we talk about these type of topics, it is very touchy, especially since we are parents. But like you said, I also don't know whether he actually did this or not, nor do I want to say that he did this without knowing because it is such a touchy subject. But like you mentioned earlier, he did get this huge deal and then something happened like we see all the time. This is not something we're just seeing for the first time. This has been something that we have come on here and spoken about several times. Just a few days ago, we were talking about this same exact topic. The only difference is, is that the man that we were speaking about in that video made these claims but also got nothing out of it. Yet Gilly got this huge opportunity and lost his son. Yeah, I can't deny that. Hassan Campbell has made some good points specifically with the way he was reacting and also if you see Gilly when it happened it, he was hurt it did seem like he was hurt but it also seemed like he was disconnected from it all like he almost disconnected himself from it all and you know that could be the way he reacts and I'm not going to blame him and say he did anything but I will say it is suspicious specifically when we know how the industry works it's an industry that requires sacrifice to advance and not every situation is the same so I'm not going to say that this is the exact situation here but it is alarming to see that right after you sign this multi-million dollar contract in which you look sad in which you look hurt you then lose your son and it's interesting that you said as well, you mentioned the video that we just did on the rapper 607 Unk claiming that he sacrificed his son to escape the Illuminati. He's actually been tagging me on Instagram on a post trying to get me to interview him. I don't know if I'll really interview someone like him because I myself kind of felt that he could have been trolling and I'm not going to give him that attention if that's really what he was doing. But if you guys think I should do something like that, let me know below and maybe I'll consider it. But even then, this guy said this without even being in the industry fully, even though he technically is connected, he is working with Sexy Red and he's a part of her team or whatever he's still not at a level where he would see all of this you know but he's claiming that this is what he did and that just lets you know everybody already knows this even those that are trying to get in the industry already know that they might have to sacrifice a loved one they might have to do something dirty and then going back to Hassan Campbell like I mentioned Hassan Campbell is not your regular guy Hassan Campbell was already involved in this industry he was already dealing with these type of people and like I mentioned Africa Bombada is actually an occultist there's pictures of him dressed in full occult attire where he can be seen mimicking Aleister Crowley and he also was a heavy believer of Ra which a lot of people don't seem to understand that these are the same gods that the occultists give their worship to these occultists sacrifice and perform rituals to these gods and Africa Bombada's entire image was about this and this is how he did hip-hop. Hip-hop started with Africa Bombada and two other creators and these guys really formed what hip-hop went on to be and you can see their influence symbol. A part of me feels like he might be playing both sides because of the things that he sometimes says but it's always interesting when he says something like this and you got to pay attention because he's gonna pick up on things that we're not normally gonna pick up on you know yeah you know that's why i think this actually might be the case because hassan's over here making some great points you know especially when he mentions that why is his son still hanging out in the streets when he has this big advance and he's making so much money and his father is known why is his son still being around this type of activities I think as a father, he should have taken his son away from that, tried to get him away from that. I do understand that his son is adult and he's going to do what he wants. But at the end of the day, he is still his father. And with the position that he was given, he could have taken his son away from that life. So none of this would have even been able to happen. You know, and it's interesting that you say that because if you look at Gilly the Kid, he was a gangster rapper back in the day. That was what he did. And to see his son be taken out by the street, you know, it, it's interesting because he contributed to that street culture. At one point, he was promoting this happening. He rapped about taking people out and how he was this tough guy. He promoted this persona. He promoted this image. And then for him to lose his son to that same life that he contributed to, there is a possibility. There's probably a much higher possibility that his son was just a result of the street. But even though, like you said, even Hassan Campbell may Makes a good point you're the father if you're making that much money you could have definitely got him out of the streets give him a good place to live somewhere outside of philadelphia or outside of the hoods in philadelphia but it doesn't seem like that was a priority to him and it's also why he could have reacted the way he reacted because at the end of the day it's not something that he was truly hurt for because he didn't really care for his son like that i'm not going to accuse him of that but that could have been one of the situations as well 
at the end of the day, what I see Hassan Campbell doing, maybe he has a problem with Gilly, so he's probably sucker punching him with this, but still, he did make some good points, and Hassan isn't the only person that's claiming this. I've already seen so many people that were stating the same thing. I myself try to stay away from the topic and because I couldn't find much proof, I didn't really find Gilly showing himself as a Mason or presenting himself as a Mason, but I could be wrong. I might have to do a deep dive on that. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know below. So, you know, this all could be a situation that was sparked because of the streets. But Hassan is also correct. He does make a good point. It wouldn't be something new. So many celebrities have been put through the same initiation. So many celebrities give up a loved one, lose a loved one right before they see that massive amount of success, you know? Yeah, and you know what? The, the fact that you keep saying that he signed his deal before his son passed away and he looked sad while he was signing this big deal sticks out. It's very suspicious to me because like you said, for what reason is he sad unless he already knew that something was going to have to happen? If he knew that he was going to have to make this sacrifice, I would definitely see why he would feel some type of way, why he would look some type of way. That makes sense. But if he didn't know any of this and you know, like I said, if he had no clue about this, why would he have been sad in that moment when he's getting, I'm pretty sure, what he wanted, what he's worked for? Exactly. That's exactly the same way I felt. I would have expected, you know, jumping up and down, excitement and joy. But, you know, everyone processes things different. At the end of the day, we know that this is what goes on in the industry. We know that this is a routine initiation to make it to that level. And the level that Gilly just recently made it to, there's not going to be that many podcasters that make it to that level, you know? He's being considered one of the biggest podcasters now. He's making big amount of money. Not that many people make it there. And, and sadly, he made it there but his son is gone, you know? Well, that's it for this video. I appreciate each and every one of the videos. Let me know what y'all want. Comment down, like, and subscribe. I'll be back with y'all.